Neural circuit diagrams address the lingering challenge of clearly communicating deep learning architectures. Architecture design has been central to the machine learning revolution over the last decade. Architecture design can significantly impact performance, ease of training, and the ability to tackle certain classes of data. However, typical presentations such as these are difficult to pass, and it is hard to see how they relate to implementation. This becomes especially problematic when considering operations that act over specific axes. This can be clearly seen in the diagrams and equations from Attention is All You Need, the paper which introduced transformer architectures, which are the basis of contemporary natural language processing algorithms. Here, I've provided the equations and diagrams with my annotations. These have multiple unclear aspects, most notably, for matrix multiplication, softmax, and concatenation, it is unclear over which axes the operations are acting. Key questions required to understand the attention algorithm, the size of the input, intermediate, and final data are impossible to address with this diagram. This makes in implementation and conceptual understanding difficult. These problematic aspects are the result of the lack of a systematic approach to expressing architectures and the resulting ad hoc methods we need to rely on. This is where neural circuit diagrams come in. Neural circuit diagrams can express deep learning architectures comprehensively and explicitly. They can show entire architectures in high detail, can be reliably annotated, deciphered and understood. Here, I've provided a diagram for the entire transformer architecture. Neural circuit diagrams explicitly show the shape of variables present in memory. They show how operations manipulate these variables, explicitly indicating the axes and tuple elements being acted on. They naturally represent lifting operations, allowing for an in-depth understanding of complex algorithms. They are mathematically robust, related to implementation, and can be integrated with additional features. Next, we will cover how to read neural circuit diagrams. Neural circuit diagrams have vertical sections which either show the variables in memory, here in magenta, or operations on those variables, here in light blue. Operations are placed next to the relevant variables on which they act. For neural circuit diagrams, we're almost always working with tensor data types. This reflects deep learning models. Tensors are shown by placing adjacent solid wires. So, an R4 by 2 matrix is shown by wire labeled 4 placed next to a wire labeled 2. This means that the previous algorithm, if all the data types are tensors, can be re-expressed in the following form. Lifting an operation over additional axes, broadcasting, is critical to understanding deep learning models. They are highly parallelized operations, meaning they take advantage of GPU operations. With neural circuit diagrams, broadcasting is shown by placing a wire adjacent to a function. This action naturally modifies the input and the output axis sizes to broadcast an operation and lift it over an additional axis. Here, we can see how an operation on a length three vector to a length two vector becomes an operation from a table to another table. Broadcasting lets us easily show element-wise operations. After all, element-wise operations are just operations from R1 to R1 that are broadcast over a tensor of some size. Additional axes of size one can be freely introduced or removed with arrows. This represents unsqueezing and squeezing the tensor. We can also broadcast within tuple segments when an operation has a tuple input. This action, inner broadcasting, is also naturally shown with neural circuit diagrams by placing an adjacent tensor wire this adjusts the input and output variable shapes in the appropriate manner. Matrix multiplication is an important example of a broadcasted operation. The fact that it can be highly parallelized means it is central to machine learning architectures. However, it is typically difficult to express, as it interacts with the axes of separate tensors. Starting with a vector-vector inner product, we derive matrix multiplication as an inner broadcast. Here, we see how an inner product on three length vectors offers matrix multiplication between matrices of size four by three and three by two. This is because 
of a four times inner broadcast on one tuple input and a two times inner broadcast on another tuple input. This leaves an output of size four by two. The one length output axis can be implicitly squeezed away. This example shows how neural circuit diagrams allow us to clearly express parallelized operations, letting architectures be clearly communicated. We can now address scaled dot product of attention using neural circuit diagrams. Here, we have all the components of attention expressed using neural circuit diagrams, making the axes of which operations occur explicit. We can read further detail into this expression. Here, I've simply annotated information that was already available. This presentation addresses many of the questions about the algorithm. For instance, we clearly see the input data shapes. The action of transposing and matrix multiplying are clear. In the middle, we observe that the size of the attention weights is y by x. The final data output can be seen to be y by k, the same size as the query inputs. This suggests, correctly, that attention mechanisms inject external data, k and v, into the q data. All these questions are naturally addressed by reading off a neural circuit diagram, a distinct advantage over the typical ad hoc approach. Neural circuit diagrams address a pressing problem in the deep learning community, clear communication of deep learning architectures. In this presentation, I outlined this problem using the case study of attention is all you need. I showed how to read neural circuit diagrams, focusing on how they use vertical sections to express either the types of variables in memory or how operations interact with these variables. Then, I covered scaled dot product attention using neural circuit diagrams. The aim of this presentation was to provide a brief overview. The paper goes into further detail, covering a host of additional topics listed on the screen. These show the technical merit of neural circuit diagrams, going into various additional architectures and beginning analysis of backpropagation and computational complexity using diagrams. Neural circuit diagrams, furthermore, provide an exciting avenue for future research. Further architectures can be covered and additional mathematically robust features integrated. They offer a promising approach to finally achieving a systematic understanding of deep learning models. Overall, therefore, neural circuit diagrams are a valuable contribution to resolving a lingering challenge in the deep learning community and have significant future potential.